Hello again YouTube and this is a very dusty radio. I don't know why it's so dusty because it's my wife's radio and for some reason when you power it up it does this. So power is applied. So in standby mode. Oh that's annoying. So you've got this buzzing. Now that to me that sounds like a 50 hertz mains hum. So somehow the mains frequency is getting onto the actual speakers. So here I've got a scope probe across the uh, speak one of the speakers, and the scope is triggering to AC, as you can see by this symbol here. Um, and we're getting 100 hertz, or 93 hertz, so approximately 100 hertz. Um, waveform on it, quite a distorted waveform, and there is some strange harmonicy weirdness stuff going on. Let me look closer. So it could be mains, it could be something completely different. So first thing we've got to do is take it apart and uh, have a poke around. So after fighting with it, it is out. So you've got the front panel here, upside down. And then this is behind the control panel. So this looks like an FM radio because you've got the antenna there. Or maybe an AM antenna. Anyway, there's an antenna and there's a radio a bit. There's the buttons and the uh, uh, LCD screen, that, that pyramid thing, probably the backlight for the screen. CD player up here, CD player controller board and power supply in the back here. And then in the box, all we've got is a transformer. So I really want to have a look at this power supply and what's going on in here. Because we've got up in here, we can see, well, the right angle, you've got a bridge rectifier in there and then the smoothing cap, so it's worth having a look at that. Uh, if I can work out where the actual supply rails are coming out of that power supply, it would be useful. So I'm gonna have a little poke and a little play, and see what we can find. That was a bit of a result. So taking that card out and dropping it upside down, you can see it's got markings on the board. Let me just shine that so you can see. So you've got the voltage markings there, ground five volts. I've put a lead on here, the ground so I can grab my scope and you got other clock markings here so you've got a 12 volt line here VCC is written on there and that's it oh you've got left and right channels so we can have a look at the supply voltages on the board and see what they look like so if we look at the 5 volt signal here we can see we get a nice clean 5 volts. There is some noise on there, but hopefully that will be filtered out through the amplifiers and stuff. Um, just a reminder, this is what the noise on the output looks like. And I haven't changed the amplitude, so of course that is, again, still 2, two volts peak to peak. So, yeah, it's nowhere near. It's not the, it's not the power supply. Unfortunately, there is another 12 volt line, but that's not connected. That's not powered at the moment. I'm assuming that's for a CD player. So, it looks like it's not the power supply. So, I've had a bit of a poke and a play, and I've removed all the connectors one by one to see if the noise disappears. And I've discovered something. This connector here, currently unplugged, you can't hear the noise. I plug it back in. Hopefully, you can hear the noises back. If I remove it, Turn the scope off so you might be able to hear it better. So, no noise. Plug this back in. Come on. And there's the noise. So it looks like the noise is coming from this connector. It's been induced by that connector. So I'll turn the power off and I'll show you where that connector goes. So this connector goes off down here through this ribbon cable, through all these Induct well, this is a RF suppression uh, inductive ring. Then it goes onto here, this little board, vertical board. And if you look on the other side, it's the headphone jack. So why would you get induced noise in the headphone jack? It's a little bit odd. So we'll take the board out and see what's what. So on that board is literally the headphone jacks and nothing else. So you've got a little board, headphone jack. Some inductors, which will be ironically for noise suppression, 
And some resistors and caps on the bottom, which again are probably for noise suppression or maybe leveling. Um, yeah, don't know why it should be inducing the noise there. Now I could be really cheeky and just unplug it because I know my wife doesn't actually use a headphone jack. But it'd be interesting to say the least to just to put a scope on here and to see if we can see where the noise could be coming from. So I have the scope set up and if I probe this pin, which is quite tricky to do whilst looking through his phone screen, we can see there is a noise pattern on there. So that's probably where the noise is coming from. But why it only occurs when there's the cable plugged in? If I unplug the cable, see what happens. Oh, I should have done this off camera. And smoothly, we are unplugged. So if I look now at the same pin, yeah. There is still noise there, but it's a, oh, where's it gone? Where's it gone? It's a completely different profile. But the noise has gone physically from the speakers. Now, I am tempted just to leave it unplugged because the headphone jack is never used on this. And what's the point of digging any deeper, really? Can we call it fixed? Bodged? Bodged. There you go, it's bodged. I'll stick it back together again and the wife will be happy unless she watches this video, which she won't do because they're boring. So... Thank you again. See you next time.